Yo, hello, my friends inside the internet. It's good to see you again. It's been a week since I last spoke to you, which is so long, of course. And thank you for your responses, all your comments on my previous video concerning Graph2, Profit Graph2. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. And you know what? I again feel like starting with some news of the week. And the first news of the week for me is SSL UC1, which is a hardware controller for channel strip and compressor by SSL, of course, in a VST form. So you've got a MIDI controller exclusively for your plugins, which is kind of an amazing concept. TC Electronic does something like that. And well, I'm not into it, I don't need this, but it's kind of a cool idea. And I instantly imagine, hey, what about having a dedicated MIDI controller, like a physical endpoint of a VST synth, which is not a generic MIDI controller, but just a dedicated controller for my, I don't know, Arturia pigments one day. Maybe somebody tries that. This, this is kind of an interesting hybrid approach to producing hardware and software. The second news of the week is that Aventide went on sale and the H9 plugins are massively discounted. And I'm a happy H9 Max user and that means I've got all the H9 algos out there outboard. But you know what? I bought Black Hole actually to have it native for the guys in the second studio mainly. I already presented them in Black Hole, Black Hole and they were quite delighted, I would say. The third news of the week is that AQ Sonus published something called Voice Changer and I'm always interested in creative vocal mangling tools, especially that I'm just right in the middle of a process of, of sound design for a computer game full of mm, weird creatures, so I'm definitely Definitely gonna check it out. And there are also news number four and five. I've got a new air conditioner I still have to install it. And I've got a new fancy haircut. But of course, that's not what I'm gonna talk about today. Because today I would like to tell you what I think about output. Recently I started using them and I don't know why, but I was really, really skeptical about them because output guys were to me like, hey, are these the guys making this fancy studio desk? Yeah, it's cool. Oh, they actually also do plugins. Hmm, how nice of them. I don't know why, but that was actually my knowledge of output and I know it isn't so. And then I realized they have some tools that might be cool. But I felt, hey, yeah, this is for like beat makers, like maybe not composers. They are too like simplified. They are oversimplified. I'm not gonna like it. They are not creative, something, something. And then I had to write a soundtrack for a documentary movie. And I really have to be quick, efficient and deliver something cool in a matter of hours. Actually, I decided to go for output. And I'll tell you something. I was absolutely delighted. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, but I would like to show you how I use some of the output output tools to get terrific musical results in hours. Let's get it on. I almost remembered. If you like the channel, if you like the video, if you like the studio, please subscribe, get notified so you're the first one to know when the new videos are coming. Also, leave me a comment down below because I love discussing things with you. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Knowing that I am in a great hurry and I have to deliver a movie soundtrack just a couple of minutes, but still it needed to be good quality and fast, I decided to give output a go this desk producer and their plugins because I've heard something that these plugins might be good. I didn't ever trust it, but I decided to give it a go. And this is what happened. Take a look. And there are two main output tools I decided to use here. And the first one is called Output Arcade. I think everybody must have heard about Output Arcade. But for me, it was like, yeah, you press some keys, you get some loops. Cool, it's for beat makers. It's for really for people who don't know how to make true real music, right? I was like this kind of a guy. And you know what? I, I was in a hurry and I, I had to simplify the process, but not only simplify the process, because I discovered it's not, it is simple, 
But not only that, it's really good. And sure, you should not be ashamed to use it. Uh, this is one of two main drum tracks I decided to use because uh, the biggest advantage of arcade probably are drum tracks. And I decided to use something called Alien Elements. You've got a keyboard here. I can use this keyboard on my touchscreen. And yeah, some... That's it. It sounds and looks very simple. You can stretch it. Mm -hmm. So it's relatively simple. You've got some samples and loops here. You've got some mangling options on the black keys on the keyboard or here on the screen. And of course, you can use them as loops and you can just give them a go as they are and it's still gonna be terrific. But um, I decided to make it a little bit more, cr more creative. I chopped them kind of manually, but still the quality of the sound of the samples and the idea of the instrument was there and it worked. And that was the first layer of my drums. The second layer of my drums also coming from Arcade and it's called Extra Perks. And so on and so on and so on. It's simple, but it, please notice, it sounds really good. It sounds interesting and it just opens up a field of exploration. I didn't know it because I never do it, but actually I started my track with drums from Arcade and that's how it sounds. Yeah, let's stop here before <laughs> it's too late. And yeah, it's simple. And I did some manual work here. I did not only rely on what um, RK did for me, but I was happy with it, you know? I really was happy. And it wasn't like oversimplified for some dumb people like I thought it's gonna be. Mm, it's a quality creative tool and I was really shocked. And not only that, because yeah, that's the first tool and there's one more and yeah, this is my favorite output tool. And I do respect Arcade. I was positively surprised, but the next one is the one I fell in love with and it's the best tool of its kind I ever tried. And it's called Portal. And again, everybody must have heard about Portal, right? I knew it's granular, I've heard it's creative, I've, I've, I've heard it's cool, but it's made by the guys that are doing studio tasks on a regular basis or something. Eh, I have no time. I'll give it a go. Mm. And this is what happened. The idea of drawing with your finger on a touch screen with, with Portal is really, it's a great one. And listen, I've got lots of granular, mangling, transforming tools in my life. They are my bread and butter. And believe me, this is the best of its kind. It's very well thought out. It's different. It's, it's, its main panel is very simple. It's like this X, Y, two parameters you can you know, choose from deeper and bring them front and control them. But inside, what's inside is really pretty amazing. That looks so simple, right? Grain controls, stretch controls, grain delays, some feedback, and also two modulators like LFOs and also effect section plus master section. Nothing too fancy, but the quality of what's there and the way it's designed gives marvelous, marvelous, very creative, very cinematic, randomized in a good way results in minutes. And I'd like to play you the whole track with the portal applied 
and with the portal bypass so you can hear the difference what it does in this track. Let's go. I used seven instances of Portal on this track and yeah, I believe they made a massive difference, but if it does not convince you, I'll have something else that might convince you. Let's switch the projects. Boom! Do you remember when two episodes ago I became a famous rapper for you to present you how mobile vocal shields work? Whatever, you know what, I'm gonna use Portal on the vocals I have here, so you're gonna hear that it's massive, it's great. And so on and so on and so on. I just tried to mangle some presets for you like really quickly. Of course I would have to mangle them more to make them sound cool according to my personal taste, to your taste, but can you feel, can you hear that, that it's vast, the, the, the interface of this is so simple, but it's so well designed that it's really absolutely powerful, it's, it's endless, I mean you can get any sound you wish from this, and I love it because I, I'm in love with creative tools of, of that kind, and I'll show you something more, get, let's get back to this documentary movie soundtrack for a while. Unfortunately, I cannot play this track in full to you because it is going to be used in the movie and it's great, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna maybe dissect it separately after the movie's premiered because I came up quickly with a cool idea here, I believe, together with the director. Hello Mikoa, you're a cool guy, I love doing movies with you. And well, Portal really, really helped. It was gentle this time, it was kind of precise, I sculpted it a little bit more. I used, it, I used this just twice, as I remember, but it gave this thing huge, huge, beautiful flavor and now I want you to take a listen. Yeah, I unfortunately I cannot play you the whole track, there are some more elements. The track is longer, but let's keep my uh, non-formal NDA there, because I respect people who did this movie. You're gonna see more in September, it's, it's gonna be an amazing one. And this is really, really subtle, but I hope you could hear that, Th this flavor, this random pitchy, grainy flavor of this track. It was all made by output and I'm gonna separate this for you maybe.
I have to tell you that I really don't know any other tool that lets me achieve terrific creative results so so quickly but guys that's it that's that's what i wanted really to show you because i enjoyed this i wanted to share it with you creating a movie soundtrack with output tools was a pure pleasure it was very effective it was very creative and i've got nothing about beat makers if you ask me do what you do guys be terrific at it and arcade is perfectly for you but it's also perfectly for people like me who've got more this producer or even composer approach so is there any way to sum the things up i think it's not needed for now guys Take care, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to hear you soon. Please note that there's, yeah, one more news. I'm going for a short vacation. For the first time for a year, I'm gonna have seven days freedom. And I'm gonna really take a serious, serious place, because I, I never tell you, but I'm really dead tired with what's happening right now in the, in the studio and not when in the studio. So if I don't publish in seven days, please don't be mad. I'll be back to you soon with more audio goodies that you hopefully gonna like. Take care.